Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. So this past week, my team and I met again and we talked about, you know, we're always reviewing our business plans, okay? Each and every month, where are we? What are we tracking? What's going on? Where are you today? Where have you been? Where are we going? Um, a very simple plan though we put together, we don't, we don't always want to make it over um, complicated. We want to have a one week business plan, okay? So something very, very simple, all right? So here's what a one week business plan looks like. Okay. Again, we get all this from MikeFerry.com. Mike's been training me, my coach personally, for over 10 years. Go to his website. There's complimentary downloads. Hopefully this will help you. So the one-week business plan we talked about, very simple. Um, it's basically uh, about 11 different items on here. Number one is, how many days are you going to work this week? Again, if it's a one-week business plan, are you working five days, seven days, whatever it may be? You write that goal down. Okay, total hours of prospecting. How many hours are you going to go out and find business? Lead generate, prospect. Contact goal. How many contacts are you going to make when you're making these prospecting calls? Number four, how many leads will you generate? Number five, how many presentations you're actually going to go on? Number six, listings you're going to take if you're going to get listings. Number seven, how many of those listings are going to sell this week? If you're going on buyer appointments, how many buyer controlled sales? How many appointments are you making? How many buyers are you going to sell this week? And then if you're a listing agent, uh, we've talked about um, price reductions. You know, today in our market, a price reduction is like getting a new listing. So how many reductions are you going to get? And number 10, which is very important on this business plan, how many times are you going to practice? How many times are you going to role play within one week? And then any other additional goals we have on here? Any other things that you want to have happen that week? If it's personal, financial, whatever it may be. Again, a simple plan, just knowing these numbers for one week. Now, we also talked about a daily tracking form so that when you are uh, making these calls to prospects, who are you calling and you want to track them, your number of contacts. So here's Mike Ferry's daily tracking form. Again, you can get this off the internet. You can get it off Mike's complimentary forms. Very simple. This is the form. This is the form we, we, uh, we use. And it's just a simple form that basically just has Monday through Sunday. Talks about the contacts. Center of influence expires, FISBOs, past client, just listed, just sold, sign calls, ad calls. You want to track everything here. And you put on the date from, from what date to what date. Okay? Very simple. Um, this is just a basic seven-day business plan. And then you can obviously carry it into a 12-month business plan as well. So um, that's pretty much what we went over. Every week we have a little mini business plan on Mondays. We look at forward to our seven-day leads. We look at our seven-day leads, meaning who is going to sign a contract within one week? Who are seven-day leads? Who are our hottest day leads? That's what we consider at my team the, the, an actual lead, someone who's going to buy, sell in the next seven days and sign a contract. So we're always very focused on the very short-term goal, but we also have the very large business, uh, business plan goal as well. Okay, so uh, hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Um, if you want to uh, comment, suggest, forward this to another agent that may uh, use this, uh, may think it's helpful, go ahead and do that. And again, anybody else you know looking to buy, sell, or invest uh, here at the Shore, South Jersey, please refer them to us. If you have a local agent and you have any expired listings right now coming up that you're not going to refer, or you're not going to, excuse me, not going to extend, please refer them to me. We'll pay you a large referral fee. We look forward to giving you large referral fees and send them to you often, okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll be in touch on the next team meeting. Have a great one.